Demands for water and sanitation are rising owing to rapid population growth and urbanization and increasing water needs from agriculture to energy production. But the sustainable management of this critical resource is faltering and a conference that seeks to arrest this decline. We can no longer address water as a local or regional challenge. We have to address it as a global challenge. We have, in fact, breached the planetary boundaries for water. <clears throat> the threshold beyond which our human impact will put society at risk. We have to radically change the way we think about how we use, manage and value water. That is the core line of next week's conference. And we rapidly have to figure out how to repair and replenish the water cycle, even as we prosper. And the good news is that we do have what it takes to put water back on a sustainable track. Framing the debate is the faltering implementation around targets in Goal 6 of the SDGs that seeks to achieve universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water for all by 2030, to achieve access to sanitation and hygiene for all and end open defecation by the same deadline. But the UN warns meeting those targets requires a four times increase in the pace of progress adding that at current rates, 1.6 billion people will lack safely managed drinking water and 3.8 billion people safely managed sanitation by the end of the decade. While a skill shortage in countries like South Africa, from water engineers and hydrologists to resource economists, is further compounding the problem with improving education for water sector professionals, a key focus of the conference. One of the objectives is capacity building and uh, the rising uh, the capacity and having the educated people and the knowledge also sits at the plan of SG on Water Action Decade. Minister of Water and Sanitation Senzo Mtkunu will lead the country's delegation this week. South Africa launched an over 400-page National Water Master Plan in 2019 that seeks to address backlogs in infrastructure investment, institutional reform in water resource management, and financial investments amid continued water shortages, exacerbated by climate change, aging infrastructure, and poor management often leading to contamination of dams and rivers, not to mention load shedding, which adds additional challenges. As this conference seeks to provide a roadmap for countries like South Africa in what is now an issue of global concern. Sherwin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.